like to greet you all, brethren, from the four corners of the world. We want to thank God for this opportunity of sharing His word. Amen. We thank God for the PSM TV. Mm -hmm. We are learning a lot of lessons, of which I hope each and everyone is benefiting. Amen. Now, today, our lesson is a topic. Is the blood on the lintel? That's the topic of our lesson today. Is the blood on the what? On the lintel. On the lintel. Mm. Can we all turn our Bibles to Revelation chapter 3, verse 12? Him that overcometh, mm -hmm. will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, mm -hmm. and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from God, and I will write upon him my new name. Right. <coughs> that what that overcometh. Mm. Will I make a pillar in the mm. temple of my God? Amen. And I will write upon him the name of my God, mm -hmm. the name of New Jerusalem, and the name of the and Jesus' new name. Yes. So we see here that God or Christ is now building a temple. Mm. And in the temple, the overcomers are made pillars in this temple. So we want to see, or we see that this temple which Christ or God is building now is different from the temples which we know, like the Solomon's temple or Zerubbabel's temple, mm. or even the temples which are being built today. Mm. For they are using stones mm. or bricks to build the temples. Right. But the temple which Christ is building now mm -hmm. is using people mm -hmm. and the overcomers are becoming the what the, the pillars. pillars in that temple Amen. now we want to see what is the foundation of the temple which christ is building now hmm. can we turn to ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 to 22 now therefore mm -hmm. you are no more strangers and foreigners mm. but fellow citizens with the saints mm -hmm. and of the household of god and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, mm -hmm. in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Right. We see, uh, Paul is saying here that you are no more strangers and foreigners, but you are built upon the foundation of the what? Of the apostles, apostles and prophets. Right. So the spiritual temple which Christ is building now, mm -hmm. it has got a foundation of prophets, mm. foundation of apostles, Amen. foundation of the web mm. Why do I say the web is the foundation? If we see all the prophets from the Old Testament and even the prophets in the New Testament, including the apostles, including, uh, including Christ himself and even John the Baptist. All these people, they kept the feasts mm -hmm. of the Lord. Amen. They had a message of the feasts and judgments. They all kept the Day of Atonement, Day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. Feast of Tabernacles in the proper dates, and even the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Mm -hmm. So these are making the foundation of the building. Mm -hmm. And today we see there is a group of people uh, called worship, which is also keeping the feasts of the Lord now with their prophet. So they are form forming the foundation of the what? The foundation of the temple. And the foundation is what feasts and judgments of God. Mm -hmm. Now so we see the, the foundation is of the apostle, the foundation is of the prophet in the worship. Then in Revelation 3 12 said the overcomers are the pillars. Hmm. Now, who are these overcomers? The overcomers are the 144,000. Hmm. They are the what? They are the overcomers. Right. They are also uh, getting their root. Their, their root hmm. is the what? Is the, the, the worship. And they are also learning from the worship. Mm -hmm. How to keep these feasts 
How to keep the status of the what? The, the status of the Lord. Yes. Amen. And we see the building is, is, is going up. Yes. Then if we go to Revelation chapter 7 verse, verse 9. Uh, can, uh, can we read Revelation 7 verse 9? Or I can I can read it here. Or let me say just what it say. Verse 9. Verse 9. <coughs> After this I beheld and lo, mm -hmm. a great multitude, mm -hmm. which no man could number, mm -hmm. of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb. Right. You, okay, if you can finish. Clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay. So John here is being shown a great multitude, which no man could what? Could no. number. And they are coming from languages, nations, uh, different, meaning they are coming from different churches mm -hmm. to complete the what? The building. Right. So you see the spiritual temple now mm -hmm. is complete with what? With the second fruits. So mm -hmm. the foundation is the first fruits, which is the worship and the, the prophet. Then we see the pillars as the actual fruit 4,000. Wow. And then we see the great market, which is the second fruits, mm -hmm. completing the what? Completing the building. And it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we go back to to Revelations chapter 12, 3 verse 12, which we have just read, mm -hmm. it is saying here, upon the overcomers, I will write my the name of, of my what? My God, mm -hmm. the name of New Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and the name of the Jesus new new name. Okay? Mm -hmm. So meaning to say the overcomers here are seen having three Names on their forehead, hmm. three seals on their what? On their, on their forehead, meaning to say there are three messages which the overcomers should settle into. Hmm. God has got three messages or three seals which He is sending His people today. Amen. And we also see that if God has the three messages or the three seals, what about the devil? Let's let's read uh, Revelations. Uh, Revelations. Fourteen verse nine. No, not not fourteen verse nine. Before fourteen verse nine, we want. Yeah, it's, you are right. Read fourteen verse nine. Fourteen verse nine. Yes. Fourteen verse nine. And the, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, mm -hmm. If any man worship the beast and his image, mm -hmm. and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Right. You can also read the, the next, uh, before reading the next verse. So we see that even the devil has got what? He's got three seals. There is the beast, his image, mm -hmm. and the mark. All right. God has three seals, and the devil also has three seals. So it's now, it's, it's either you have the seal of God, or you have the seal of the what? The devil. Or the seal of the devil. So you have to choose between the two. Hmm. There is no being on the fence, but you have to take what? We have to take sides. So the other 44,000, or the overcomers, hmm. they have got the three seals of what? Of the God. three seals, seals of God. Because when they hear the message, they accept the message and they settle into the what? The into message. the message. But all the opposers of God's message, mm -hmm. mind you, they are also receiving another mark, mm -hmm. which is the mark of the what? The mark of the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, can we also read? We want to see what is the name of God, then the name of the what? Of New Jerusalem. What message is it? The, me the name of God. Then the name of New Jerusalem and the name of what? Of Jesus' new name. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, can we read from Revelation 12, 14, verse 12? Verse 12. Yes. Here is the patience of the saints. Mm -hmm. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Right. So the first seal is the message, the name of God, which is keeping the commandments. And the faith of Jesus. And what is the faith of Jesus? It's the message of the feast. So keeping the commandments of God, including the Sabbath and the feast, you 
receive the first seal, which is the seal of God. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then let's see the second seal from Revelation 7, verse 2 to 4. To 4. 7, verse 2 to 4. And I saw another angel ascending out of the east, mm -hmm. having the seal of the living God. Mm -hmm. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, mm -hmm. saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand, of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay, so in Revelation 7, we see an angel ascending from where? From, from the east. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say this angel is bringing another message mm. from the east, which is the kingdom message. Right. Or Jerusalem message. Mm -hmm. The kingdom to be established where? In the east. Right. Which is in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So the second seal is about the kingdom. So the first seal, the Sabbath, and the feast, then second seal is about the what? The kingdom. About the kingdom to be established in the east, meaning to say in this earth. Mm -hmm. So if you want to receive the second seal, you have to also accept the kingdom message to be established here on what? On mm -hmm. earth. Mm -hmm. Then you have another seal on your what? On, on your, your forehead. forehead. Okay? Then can we go to the third seal, which is Ezekiel 9. Can you read verse 2 and 4? And behold, mm -hmm. six men came from the way of the higher gate, mm -hmm. which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, mm -hmm. with a writer's inkhorn by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Verse 4. Verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay. So here we are seeing men in what? In linen. Uh -huh. Having a mark in his hand mm -hmm. to put also on the foreheads of his people mm -hmm. through Jerusalem, which is the church. Right. Then and after him, we see five men with slaughter weapons following him. Meaning to say, the men in linen, linen is the righteousness of the saints, as we see from uh, Revelation chapter 8, verse 7 and 8. It is the righteousness of the what? Of the saints. So this angel or this message is about Christ's righteousness. It is Christ himself which is impu now imputing his righteousness upon, upon his people. Mm. And after the third seal, which is of Christ's righteousness, which is the righteousness of the branch, mm. or the Lord our righteousness. Then we see the five men with slaughter weapons. And this other man as well, which is a righteous infant in his right hand, is also another what? A weapon again. Meaning to say, after sealing, he will also join these other five. And they slaughter all those people without the what? The mark. Without the mark. So now, it is our duty to take pain so that we can also receive this what? This mark. This mark. And we see also that the sinning is almost finished. Mm. As we can see this last man and the other five following after him, it shows that the sinning is almost over. Mm. And we have to wake up, brethren. And I, I want us to read from FLB, FLB 287.7 Just as soon as the people of God are sealed in their foreheads, mm -hmm. it is not any seal or mark that can be seen, but a settling into the truth. You see, it is not a, 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 a what? A seal or a mark which can be seen, but a settling into the truth. But it is a settling into the what? Into the, into truth. the truth. Meaning to say, if you go around looking at people's foreheads and you expect to see something there, you won't see anything. Mm. But it is a mark which is only the angels are able to what? To see. To read. So it's a settling into the what? Into the truth, uh -huh, both intellectually, intellectually and, and spiritually. Spiritual. So they cannot be moved. So they cannot be moved. Meaning to say all those who, have, who are sealed now, mm -hmm. all those who are settling in this truth cannot be moved by anything. Mm. 
neither persecution in the church or with the brethren or in the families or whatever, they cannot be shaken mm. because they are now they have settled in the what in, in the, the truth. truth. Uh -huh. Just as soon as God's people are sealed and prepared for the shaking, mm -hmm. it will come. Indeed, it has begun already. The judgments of God are now upon the land that we may know what is coming. Yes, just as soon as God's people are what are sealed and prepared for the shaking, mm -hmm. it will come. And the shaking has already come. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it has begun already. Mm -hmm. The judgments of God are, are now upon the what? Upon the land. As we can hear about the, the floods, the fires, the earthquake, rumors of wars and everything, it shows that the, the ceiling is almost what? Is almost over. Okay, now uh, I want us to go back to the time of, of Moses. I want us to read from Review and Herald, mm -hmm. May 21, 1895, paragraph 1. The directions that Moses gave concerning the Passover feast are full of significance. Mm -hmm. And they have an application to parents and children in this age of the world. Okay, you see, Moses gave a direction to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. About concerning the what? Concerning the Passover feast. And we hear that it is full of it's full of what? Significance. Of significance. Mm -hmm. And the application is now to, to, to parents and to children in this age of the world. Of the world. Meaning to say it also applies to where? To oh. us. Huh? Mm -hmm. Moses. Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them. Mm -hmm. Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families, mm -hmm. and kill the Passover. Mm -hmm. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop, and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, mm -hmm. and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. Mm -hmm. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. Mm -hmm. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and upon the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. Okay. You see, Moses gave directions to the children of Israel that they should kill a lamb for each family. Then they take the blood mm -hmm. and strike the blood on the what? On the lintel. On the lintel and on the two mm -hmm. side posts. Mm -hmm. And that blood was going to be their protection. During the night when the angel was to pass through their what? Their houses. Yeah. Each house found without that blood, there was going to be slaughtered. Mm -hmm. And the house with the blood, there was going to be what? To be protection. So the 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 you see, where were they to, to strike the blood? On the little and on the two side posts. Meaning to say three posts, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it also refers to the three seals. In the New Testament, as we have read from Revelation chapter 3, verse what? Verse 12. Verse 12 huh? mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down. The father. The father was to act as the priest of the household. And if the father was dead, the mm -hmm. eldest son living was to perform this solemn act of sprinkling the doorpost with blood. You see, who, was the, who has the responsibility of, of putting this blood on the doorpost? Yes. It was the father. Mm -hmm. And if the father is dead, then the firstborn. Yeah. Okay, to make sure that the blood is on the what? On the doorpost. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then, this is a symbol of the work to be done in every family. This is a symbol of the work to be done in what? Every in family. every family. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Parents are to gather their children into the home and to present Christ before them as their Passover. Mm -hmm. The father is to dedicate every inmate of his home to God mm -hmm. and to do a work that is represented by the feast of the Passover. Yes. It is perilous to leave this solemn duty in the hands of others. Right. It is what? Perilous mm -hmm. to leave this solemn duty in the hands of what? Others. In the hands of others. Mm -hmm. I want us to go down and there is a, a story about a Hebrew family uh, which also neglected this to, to, to perform this what this duty. Can you go down where it says 
This peril is well illustrated by an incident that is related concerning a Hebrew family mm -hmm. on the night of the Passover. Right, there was a certain Hebrew family on the night of the what? Hebrew. Of the Passover, okay? Mm -hmm. The legend goes that the eldest daughter was sick. Right. But that she was acquainted with the fact that a lamp was to be chosen for every family. You see, the, the eldest daughter in this family, she was what? She was sick. Mm -hmm. But she was acquainted that the blood should be put on the what? On the doorpost. Okay? Um, was to be chosen for every family mm -hmm. and that its blood was to be sprinkled upon the lintel and side post of the door mm -hmm. so that the Lord might not behold the mark of the blood so that the Lord might behold the mark of the blood and not suffer the destroyer to enter in to smite the firstborn. Right. With what anxiety she saw the evening approach mm -hmm. when the destroying angel was to pass by. Mm -hmm. She became very restless. Mm -hmm. She called her father to her side and asked, have you marked the doorpost with blood? Right. You see, the child was so much concerned. This sick daughter was so much concerned about the, the instruction which was given by, by the Lord through Moses. Mm. So as she saw the evening approaching, she asked his father, eh, Have you put the blood? Have you marked, marked the doorpost with the blood? Mm. Asking the father, and what does the father say? He answered, yes, I have given direction in regard to the matter. <laughs> you see this father? Mm -hmm. He answered, yeah, yes, 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 don't worry, my girl. I have given the what? Direction. The directions in regard to this matter. You see, he did not do it himself, but he gave directions to someone else in regard of the what? Mm -hmm. Of the matter. Mm -hmm. um, do not be troubled. Do not be troubled, my girl. Don't worry. For the destroying angel will not enter here. Mm -hmm. The night came on, mm -hmm. and again and again the child called her father, still asking, mm -hmm. Are you sure that the doorpost is marked with blood? But this could not lie, the, 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 the sick child. He kept on persisting, asking his father, Father, are you sure that the, the blood is put on the what? Mm -hmm. On the doorpost? And what does the father say again? Um, again and again, the father assured her that she need have no fear. <laughs> the father assured her, no, my girl, just sleep. You don't need to worry about this. I have asked someone to, what, to do it. Mm -hmm. um, again and again, the father assured her that she need have no fear, that a command which involved such consequences would not be neglected by his trustworthy servants. Mm. As midnight approached, a pleading voice was heard saying, Father, I am not sure. Take me in your arms and let me see the mark for myself so that I can rest. You see, the child could not rest. Mm. The father left the responsibility with the servants. Mm. Yet the responsibility was for the father right. of the house to do the what? The to, do, to put the blood on the little and on the two side posts. Mm. So this girl persisted and said, Father, I can't have rest. Can you please take me in your arms and show me where the what, where the blood is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go go on. The father considered to the wishes of his child. Mm. He took her in his arms and carried her to the door. Mm. But there was no blood mark upon the lintel or the post. You see, midnight was approaching, mm. and the father is just saying everything Don't worry. is sorted. Don't worry, just relax. I have asked the servants to do it. But the girl child, as she saw the, the midnight approaching, she asked the father to take her out to see for herself. And guess what? The there was no blood mm. on the doorpost. All right. Read, read on. He trembled with horror as he realized that his home might have become a house of mourning. Mm -hmm. With his own hands, he seized the hyssop bowl and sprinkled the doorpost with blood. He then showed the sick child that the mark was there. We thank God for this sick child. For she persisted until the father saw that there was no blood at all. Mm. And this child was the eldest one, of which she was supposed to be smitten mm. that night. Mm -hmm. Then the father had to take the what? The hyssop and put the, the blood on the doorpost. Mm. So we see that even today, there are a lot of people who live this wake of
of sealing in other people's hands. Mm. Can you read uh, the following uh, paragraph which say, Our parents placing the mark. Our parents placing the mark of God upon their households in this their day of probation and privilege. You see, we are now living in the day of probation, mm -hmm. in our probationary time. Mm -hmm. And it is our duty as the individuals to make sure that we have received the seal for ourselves, not leaving this work for some other people to do it for us. Mm. Are not are not many fathers and mothers placing their responsibilities into others' hands? Are we not doing the same, like this Hebrew father, uh, putting the responsibility in other people's what? In uh, other people's hands. Uh -huh. um, do not many of them think that the minister should take the burden mm -hmm. and see to it that their children are converted mm -hmm. and that the seal of God is, up, is placed upon them? You see, this is the the problem which we are facing today that we are leaving this responsibility upon the ministers upon even you can go down go down they do not restrict their children's desires mm -hmm. referring them to a thus said the lord mm -hmm. many suppose that the sabbath school influence will be all sufficient and that the sabbath school teacher will instruct and educate their children in such a way as to lead them to christ you see we are leaving the responsibility of acquiring the seal to our teachers, our Sabbath school teachers, to our ministers, to our leaders, mm. in thinking that, that in the day of judgment, God will say every leader of, a, of a, each church should come up front and the members uh, to, to, follow. to follow. Yet this is an individual work which is to be done by us. Most of the people, we are going to cry mm -hmm. when the midnight approaches and we are found that there is no blood on the doorpost, on the doorpost on like the... this Hebrew family. Mm -hmm. So the preparation is for an individual, mm -hmm. not to wait upon the ministers or to wait upon the Sabbath school, the teachers or whoever you can place the responsibility into. Can we read from CIHS 187.1? CIHS 187.1. The work of preparation is an individual work. Yes, the work of preparation is an individual work. Uh -huh. We are not served in groups. We are not served in groups, yes. The purity and devotion of one will not offset the want of these qualities in another. Yes. Though all nations are to pass in judgment before God. Mm -hmm. Yet will he examine the case of each individual with as close and searching scrutiny as if there were not another being upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we see that the way of, of preparation or the way of receiving these three seals mm -hmm. is a work for an individual. We are not supposed to leave this work in any other people's hands. Otherwise our neglect will face the, what, the consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay? So uh, I also want to read, I want you to read from DAR 1909, 399.2. But they are to have more than this. Mm -hmm. From the moment they overcome and they are sealed for heaven, they are labored, if we may express it, as belonging to God and Christ. You see, this is a, a certain group now, mm -hmm. which is being seen in the last days, mm -hmm. uh, which has acquired the what? The three seals upon their what? Their foreheads. From the moment they overcome, they are sealed for heaven. They are labeled, if we may so express it, as belonging to God and Christ. Mm -hmm. So if you have the seal, then you be, you now belong to who? To God and Christ. Right. And you are you are what? You are labeled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and addressed to their destination, the New Jerusalem. And addressed to their destination, the what? The New Jerusalem. So you see, they have the, the seal of God, and they also have the label of where they are going, which is the what? The New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. They are to have written upon them the name of God. The name of God. Whose property they are. Meaning to say, if you, you are written the name of God on your forehead, then you are now the property of God. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. The name of New Jerusalem. The name of New Jerusalem. To uh -huh. which place they are going. To which place 
they are what? They, they are, are going. going. Not old Jerusalem, where some are vainly looking, mm -hmm. and they have upon them the name, the new name of Christ. Okay, so they are labeled new Jerusalem, mm -hmm. not old Jerusalem, but new what? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Even if you go to Israel today, mm -hmm. you will see that there is old Jerusalem and there is new Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and the label is for new Jerusalem. For we are going to the what? To the new, new Jerusalem. Jerusalem with God's name. And the destination of where we are, what? we are, we are going. going. Mm -hmm. And they have upon them the new name of Christ. And they also have upon them the new name of what? Of the Christ. new name of Christ, which we have learned from the other lessons, that it is the, the name branch. Mm -hmm. By whose authority they are to receive everlasting life mm -hmm. and enter into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Thus sealed and labeled, the saints of God are safe. Thus sealed and what? And labeled, the things of God are safe. Mm. So if you have the seal, then you are what? You are safe. You are safe. Mm -hmm. um, no enemy will be able to prevent their reaching their destination. Mm. Their glorious heaven of rest, Jerusalem above. Right. So you see, the purpose of the seal is to protect you. And if, if you have the seal, then you are what? You are safe. Mm -hmm. You see, if you look to... The Old Testament, they were told to put the blood on the doorpost and no more to go out. Exactly. Because if you go out, then you will be slaughtered out there. Mm -hmm. The 144,000 in the foundation and even the, the great multitude, they are said to be sealed and they will also go out, go no more out. Exactly. Meaning to say, if they are sealed, then there is no more going out. Why? Because they have now settled into the what? Into, into the truth. So the protection is for our own good. And the seals is for our own good. For they protect us. Mm. Uh, if we also read in writing speech uh, 15, it also says that the 144,000 are sealed and perfectly united with the name of God, New Jerusalem, and a glorious star containing Jesus' new name. What, what unites the 144,000? Right. It is the, the seal, which is the messages. So the messages also, they unite us mm. to be one bundle, to be one thing, with the focus of reaching our what? Okay. Our destination. Amen. Uh, so, I want you also to read from TM 445.1. Those that overcome the world, mm -hmm. the flesh mm -hmm. and the devil, mm -hmm. will be the flavored ones who shall receive the seal of the living God. So there is three things to what? To overcome. Mm -hmm. Those that will overcome the world, mm -hmm. the flesh and the devil, mm -hmm. who will be favored ones, who shall receive the seal of what? The okay. seal of the living God. Mm -hmm. Those those whose hands are not clean, mm -hmm. whose hearts are not pure, mm -hmm. will not have the seal of the living God. So you see, if our hearts are not clean, mm -hmm. if our hands are not pure, we will not receive the seal. Mm -hmm. But we have to overcome the world, the flesh and the devil, and have a clean and pure heart, and clean hands. Mm -hmm. Then we receive the seal for our protection. Can you also read 1 SM 367.2? It is not a law standard that is placed before us. It is not a law standard, brethren, that, that is placed before what? Before that us. is placed before us. Uh -huh. For we are to become the children of For God. For we are to become the children of God. And the seal that shows that we are the children of God is to have these seals upon these three seals upon our foreheads. Then it shows that we are the children of what? We are the children of God. But if we don't have the three souls for God, then we have the three souls for, for the devil. And it means that we are also the children of the what? Of the devil. Mm -hmm. We are to be saved as individuals. We are to be saved as individuals. So we have to, to make our calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. And make sure that as individuals, we receive the mark. Mm -hmm. Um. And in the day of test and trial, mm. we shall be able to discern between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. So in the day of trial, it shall be told, it shall be seen, who is serving God and who is serving the devil. So the question today is, is the blood on the lintel 
Do you have the three seals on your what? On your forehead. The three seals represented by the blood which were put on the three side in the little and the two side doorpost during the time of the children of Israel. Today we are to settle into three messages so that we cannot be moved. Settle in them both spiritually and intellectually. And when Christ comes, we are found firm and standing for the Lord. May God bless us all. Amen.